I got it. Once you have it, no one's going to ask you how you got it. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Chelsea Alana. Here we usually talk about everything, you know, from lifestyle, travel, skincare, beauty, pop culture, uh, influencing, affiliate marketing, money, and then I do a lot of unboxing, hauls, reviews, and things like that. So if you are new to my channel, please, please, please hit the subscribe button. Um, double tap it to hit the notification. If you are returning, hey girl, what's up, we about to get started in a minute. This of course will be an unboxing from a brand that if you are a frequent watcher of my channel, you've definitely seen before. Shout out to Smart by Glasses. Of course, I have another haul, but however, I do want to like kind of chit chat with you guys before I jump right into it. So let's get started. Okay, if you're wondering what I'm drinking, it's ice water with the chlorophyll. It's not anything like special it doesn't have a taste it's just green i just got back from new york i actually left new york early because it was so cold and the weather was so horrible and strenuous that i left early i was supposed to do a whole bunch of stuff in new york but it was so bitter cold my psoriasis started acting up my asthma was like i was wheezing every morning i couldn't breathe it was so freezing so i put a bunch of vitamins in my water and i've just been chugging it since i got back Welcome to Miami. Sorry, we'll never move back to New York ever. Ever, ever, ever. After that cold, never. Or I'm gonna get a rich husband that we have a brownstone in New York and we go there for the spring and summer and fall. Winter, we get the f up out of here, okay? But I ate Chinese food every single night. Ate pizza. Ate pizza with Chinese food. Ate pizza, rolled the general chow chicken in the pizza, rolled it, rolled it, rolled it like it was a blunt. And I ate it. And I had a Dr. Pepper. So I'm gonna be working out all week and drinking my vitamins, so. So as you know on this channel, I really like to talk about, you know, financial freedom, financial stability, and of course, financial literacy. For a long time, I did not talk about financial literacy because I was living a lie. I was living very delusional. I was, I had, you guys know my apartment in New York, I have my apartment in Atlanta, and I have my apartment in Miami, and then I'm just, I was spending, 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 spending. By the grace of God, the money was coming in, but it was, by the time it was coming in, I had to give it out. So I've been really just trying to dial back on my expenses, really evaluate my life. And one of the things I've been reading um, are a lot of self-help books. Usually I read like a lot of urban nasty books. But I've taken the time this year to read a lot of self-help books to not only better improve myself, but also to kind of understand why I make the choices that I make. I live in a world where I believe I do the things I want to do because that's what I want to do them, but I really had to get through, really had to get to the root of why I do the things I do and why I spend the way I spend. And one book that I was read, it talks about, I don't, they didn't, I'm not promoting the book, sorry. Um, we're promoting <laughs> Smart by Glasses, and don't worry, the story ties into what I'm getting ready to say. Um, but I was reading this book that really talks about, you know, the, the financial decisions that we make and why we make them. Um, one of the things that the topic, uh, one of the chapters is the topic of um, people who buy brand name or designers and why they buy the brand name and designers. And I'm not going to really like take exactly what the book said. I'm just going to kind of paraphrase it. And it basically said there's two reasons why you buy designer. You either buy designer stuff like brand names and things like that because you want to you want to show people you of uh, you are of a certain stature. You are a part of a certain social class. And if you guys really, really know me, you guys know that I'm really big on the Facebook groups of Black Girl Luxury. A lot of those brown girl luxury, black girl luxury, black girl luxury in Miami, black girl luxury in Atlanta. I'm very active and I'm very big in those circles because as a black woman, I never want people to attribute my love for designer, my love for fashion and its adjacency to whiteness. 
You know what I mean? And then another thing in the book, the other option that the book gave you was the reason why you buy designer is to make yourself feel. It's an emotional connection that you have rewarded yourself by giving you, by giving yourself something that is a status symbol. You either buy it because you want to show people you're of that status or you buy it to, to emotionally connect to a status symbol to make yourself feel good. That's pretty much it. And as, an, as a growing adult, a growing young lady, I realized that I buy designer because one, I have a deep, um, a deep connection to the fashion industry. For you guys who don't know, my dad, I, I don't think I ever brought this up. Have I ever brought this up? I never brought this up. My dad, when um, he was younger, he's a very talented, I don't want to use the word artist, but my dad is very, he has a gifted hand. My dad's not doing a bunch of paintings and things like that, but my dad has a very gifted hand. He has kind of the type of penmanship that you would see on a computer. So because of that, when he was younger, in his 20s, he actually worked um, for Vera Wang. Yes, my dad worked for Vera Wang. Not as a designer, not as a carpenter, not as someone who really worked with the fat, but he just moved the fabrics. You know, he would sketch things out and things like that this is before Vera Wang became that girl Vera you know what I'm saying he worked in the um I really don't know what it's called he kind of like worked in the, the warehouses and things like that but he worked with Vera Wang and he met Vera Wang and then my mom she's you know styled a lot of older rappers don't let her I don't know why she my mom's the only mom who does not like rap music but when I go to New York she's in Jersey hanging out with like older rappers and I'm not even gonna name drop them because sometimes at my job we gotta talk about them and we gotta drag them truth be told hey and so she styles a lot of people who are in the fame, who are famous or been famous, whatever, notable people. And then I just feel like there's always been that kind of connection to fashion and styling and things like that. And so I buy designer because I like it. I buy I mix Shein and 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 Ramwe with Tom Ford and Casablanca and Fendi and Gucci and Lavon and things like that. I mix and match. So I feel like there's a good balance. However, I'm I can't sustain this luxury lifestyle forever. I'm gonna get married, I'm gonna have children, and so I'm going to need to become more financially responsible. So this is where smart buy glasses comes in. Because with smart buy glasses, they have all of my favorite, favorite designers. Favorite brand name, favorite designers, they have, you know looks and trendy pieces all the way back to 2013 and 14 that you thought would have been discontinued that you can't find in the store all the way to the new you know 2021 2022 pieces and they have them at good prices they have a lot of sales and of course you can use my coupon code miss chelsea 10 to get 10 percent off um i'm all about buying within your means but sometimes it feels good to, to buy design Nah. It feels good walking with like the latest trends. It feels sometimes, you know, it is those fashion houses like Marnie or Fendi or Moschino or Levon or Burberry that really push the envelope of, of a lot of styles, a lot of different different looks and cookie things. And I, I want to make good financial decisions, but I also want to be happy with what I buy say that to say this I am doing the work of trying to be a black girl in luxury responsibly and I want to make sure everybody does the same I put a lot of I see a lot of that on social media where people just hound you with rich 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 it girl it girl that girl that girl trendy trendy aesthetic aesthetic and I want to be able to tell people that just because you see me with it or see me promoting it does not mean I just go into the store and I'm just swipe and go. There are sometimes I swipe and I'll be like, oh, I shouldn't have done that. Oh, I should have waited for the sale. And so when I'm showing people designer, when I'm showing them brands, I also want to make the conscious decision letting y'all know, 
buy what's in your means. Buy what's in your means. Buy whatever you want, but just buy what's in your means. And there are sales. There are coupon codes. You do not have to. I know so many people who want to walk into the store and buy a full price. And I'm like, why? You can go online. You can go on this website. You can buy these things at a discount. You don't always have to pay full price just to say, I got it. Once you have it, no one's going to ask you how you got it. So when it comes to designer glasses, I always go to Smart Buy Glasses because they're going to find the styles that got discontinued that I couldn't buy in the moment that I want to buy now. And also, they're going to give me a good price. Yes, I do, honey. So, wanted to get that little chitty chat out the way. And so, let's do my unboxing. Okay, so let's get started. So, we're going to start with the new pieces. I'm so excited. First, we have Moschino. Moschino. It's not Moschino. Stop being ghetto and saying things incorrectly. Oh, my God. I love these glasses. It came out um, a couple years ago with the Barbie era. And so when they came out, I was just like, girl, I'm not buying those. Those are so cheesy. But I kept thinking about them. So when I saw them, like I said, on the Smart Buy, when I saw them on the Smart Buy website, I was like, oh, I have to get these. I have to get these. Look at these. So fab. So fab. So fab, so fab, so fab. They have the Moschino logo going across the leg. I love how it kind of has that that tunneling of the heart. Something close to like what you would see like the Willy Wonka. You guys remember the glasses that Willy Wonka wore in the Chocolate Factory? This is what it kind of reminds me of, like this over edge. And then it comes with the heart. Oh, look at me. Fab, honey. Absolutely love the plastic. It looks black. It looks black when you look at me, and I'm pretty sure you cannot see my eyes, but honey, it is not. It's like one of those glasses, and I love these glasses because these are glasses you can wear in the club. You know how girls be hating like, oh, I don't like girls that wear glasses in the club. You don't like girls who wear glasses in the club because you're wearing the wrong glasses. You're wearing glasses that are dark on the outside and dark on the inside, so you can't see nothing in the club. But when you're wearing top tier brands like Moschino, honey, they are pitch black looking outwards. However, me looking at you, fabulous. It's like a, a brown, a toasty, toasty brown, darling. I could see everything perfectly, crystal clear, Polaroid vision, darling. So these are so cute and they're gonna be great for my birthday trip. Ah! Yes, 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 yes. I'm getting ready for my birthday trip. Eh. Okay, and so of course it comes in this case. Everything from Smart Buy is super official and it comes with a uh, glass cleaner. I like to keep the glass cleaners in there with the glasses. So that's the first one. Description links will be in the box below. Oh. Next, we have a brand that you guys know I love, Moni. Moni, 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 Moni. I love Moni. And so it comes with the sleeve. So you take the sleeve out. Comes with the kind of green box. Then in the green box, I give it up for the packaging. Round of applause. For the packaging. For Moni. And then it comes with their cute little quirky um, eyeglass case. Open it up and then, okay, details, details, eyeglass. And then we have, zon, zon, ah, shit, if I can get out. Okay, this is not white. It is, it's not even bone, really, to be honest. I don't know what type of color this is. However, it has the Marnie name going across the leg on both sides in a gold accent. And then, of course, it has the Marnie name in, written in red in the middle. Um, put these glasses on. So, this is how they look. This color is very soft. I thought about getting, uh, I was, on the website it looked a little white and I was kind of like, Ooh. White glasses are very hit and miss, depending. However, like I said, it's like a yellowish bone. Um, the lenses are brown, so you can see my eyes, I can see you. But this is also really good if you're going like 
on a drive or if you're eating outside you don't you don't want to look too flashy it gives you just enough coverage over the sun and really adds to the looks type of vibe really really cute i love marnie it is one of those affordable fashion designers that a lot of people it really um really made a comeback last year and so people have been have been wearing it it's not too expensive i've done unboxings for marnie on this channel with my purse and my t-shirt i think a little bit so these are my newest collection from smart by mosquito and marnie i absolutely love them i cannot wait to wear them um Oldie but goodie, you've definitely seen this on my Instagram. You have definitely seen it on YouTube. This is the Burberry London England. Not aviator, but yellow glasses. When I tell you, I got, I get so many compliments on these glasses. Anytime I wear them, they are so fabulous. I have on, um, I think size 16 centimeter, centimeter bitch, really? 16 millimeter um, lashes right now and these are the perfect glasses to wear over them so where they don't brush against the um, glasses they have the Burberry symbol on the side everybody really loves them because like I said these are the the type of glasses that push the envelope they push the envelope of, of, of fashion trends that you could wear this and look fab I like to wear these glasses when I don't do my eyebrows yeah, that's another thing. You, you Sometimes you wear accessories to hide the fact that you woke up late. And because you're so bold to use your glasses as an accessory, nobody questions it. Also got these from Smart Buy. Fabby fab. Needs to be clean. And I keep all of my sunglasses. Another thing, if you're going to pay good price, please keep them in the original packaging please one it's just classy it is and then two if you gotta resell them you get more money when it comes to the original sorry things happen here's another fave from smart buy is my bottega vanetta bottega vanetta bottega vanetta and so i wear these glasses very seldom mostly because I just don't I don't wear them a lot <laughs> I gotta be real with you Bottega Veneta what well I'll tell you this Bottega Veneta has a certain type of vibe they have been around if you watch um Blondes Have More Fun with Marilyn um Marilyn Monroe she goes to Bottega Veneta to shop after her fiance leaves her you understand what I'm saying? So Bottega Veneta has been around, darling, for a very long time. But the Bottega Veneta doesn't have the emblems. They don't. When I go to the club, though, there are certain girls who are big on Bottega Veneta, who wear the shoes and the purse, and they're, they're always there. So they're able to spot these glasses, and they'll come up to me, and they're like, oh, my God, I can't believe you wore those because... Most people don't buy glasses unless you can show people what you're wearing. And to be a Bottega Veneta girl, you gotta be bold. You gotta know that people are gonna know what you're wearing when you go out. Because to be honest, there is no like emblem. They don't even say Bottega Veneta on the on the leg. They don't say them anywhere except for inside, which is very very faint. And it's like. Sometimes, this goes back to what I was saying in the book, sometimes you buy things to show people you're of a certain, a certain social status. In Bottega Veneta, when you buy them, they don't have any monograms, they don't have any emblems. So you have to buy this fully having confidence in yourself. <laughs> and then also knowing that you're going to be in the right circles and that people are going to know what you're wearing. And honestly, when I think about what makes me feel good is someone coming to me and seeing that I have a monogrammed purse or mono or uh, emblemed sunglasses saying oh I like that Burberry I like that Moschino I like that whatever or somebody who walks up to me and say are those Montana? those are nice because that lets me know that you are in the stores 
you are uh, you are on the front lines and you know what's going on in these streets honey that always makes me feel better okay next we have Lavon. stop calling it Lavon. it is not Lavon. it is Lavon. so these glasses i'll wear these bad boys down i'll wear them down and i'm surprised they're not scratched up because i actually keep them in my car out of the case after i talked all that shit about keeping the, the original cases these i'll wear these hold on I wear these consistently. I do. I absolutely. I wear these in the car. I wear these to the grocery store, honey. I wear the out of these Levons. I do. I absolutely. I love these glasses. When when I got them from from Smart Buy, I called everybody in their mother, their mother, so they could see me in these glasses. Just so they can see me in these glasses. Truth be told. Truth be told. Father God. These glasses are glasses. They are. And nobody will ever know why. I just want Next, we have some really cool pieces. We have some really, really cool pieces. And you'll never, we have some really cool pieces and you'll never guess who the designer is for these glasses. First, let me show you. You see? You see? You see that tint? You see that purplish tint? Oh! Oh! Fab, 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 fab. Have you guys guessed what the designer is? Have you guessed who the designer is of these? Lavender tealed ombre blue rim, purple blue rim glasses. Smart buy. Oh, oh, I got y'all. I got y'all so good. I fed y'all the designer and it slipped. You see, this is what you gotta do sometimes. This is what you gotta do sometimes. You have to slip in. You have to slip in the highs and the lows. And this is another thing that, that, that I talk about, that, that talks about it in the book. If you are known consistently for wearing designer, designer, brand, 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 the day you do walk out with a little $20, $30 little piece, no one will be known the wiser. Cause you're known to be that girl. And nobody question you. Is that designer? Is that da, 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 da? you'll be terrified to ask me who this is. Okay. But it is smart buy. They are so super cute. You guys know I'm on my purple, my purple phase. So when I saw these, I was like, oh. Give me two per. I need to per come on stepping out with your smart buy glasses. Stepping out with the smart buy glasses. I only got one pair though. I need to. So next we have another smart buy. Ah, design on dueling. These are very delicate and I actually wore these. I want I'm wearing these with scarves. That's why I have them. Ah. Super, super dainty. If I told you that I specifically bought very tiny um, metal rim glasses just so I can wear it with this scarf, would you believe me? Would you believe that I'm that extra that I would buy glasses specifically, specifically, so I could give commentary like this with a scarf over my head and these soft rim glasses and ombre lenses you wouldn't have thought I would be that extra but I am and I did so um this concludes our video I would like to thank smart buy glasses um for really introducing us to luxury at a discount 
the description links will be in the box below. Make sure to use my coupon code, Miss Chelsea 10 Sometimes, depending on the season, depending on the year, whatever you watch this, the description, the discount code might change. So please go to the description box. I will always update it. And I will see you guys back with another video very, very soon. Sammy Bezos.